From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Lana Del Rey has confirmed that she has resorted to witchcraft and attempted to place a hex on U.S. President Donald Trump. Obviously, it didn't work because he is still tweeting. A Florida meth dealer called 911 recently to report a bag of cocaine he says was stolen from him. Yes, but, but your meth is okay, right? Well, thank goodness for that. There is an uptick in people taking funeral selfies. Selfies with an open casket in plain view behind them. You know, the only way that this could be more inappropriate is to caption the photo with, wish you were here. Rock star and Trump supporter Kid Rock is said to be considering a run for Senate from his home state of Michigan. Kid vows to make Michigan far out groovy again. Snopes.com, one of the internet's first and most famous fact-checking websites, said Monday that a previous website hosting vendor continues to hold the Snopes.com website hostage, and the site is in danger of shutting down if it doesn't raise $500,000. Snopes has started a GoFundMe campaign. Man, you know, I wish there was some fact-checking website I could go to to see if this story is true or not. A study says too much time at work can lead to an irregular heart rhythm. At least that's the excuse for leaving early I'm going to try out this week. YouTube has begun redirecting online searches for violent extremist content and ISIS recruitment propaganda to anti-terrorist videos. And I understand what they're trying to do, but are we sure this is such a great idea? I mean, wouldn't being redirected to something you didn't search for make you that much more angry at the world? Donald Trump has named a temporary ethics chief because if anyone in his staff has ethics, odds are pretty good that it will only be temporary. An Oregon woman found herself in the emergency room recently after her pet ball python named Bart got itself stuck in her gauged earlobe. On the plus side, though, hey, cool earring! Down in Daytona Beach, Florida, a 10-year-old Florida boy described by police as flashy cut off his ankle monitor the day after being charged with stealing a car and then stole another one. Police say it was his fourth arrest for car theft in just six weeks. Daytona Beach Police Sergeant Tim Ehrenkoffer says the boy has a look-at-me attitude, and investigators have noticed a brashness that's not common in children that young. Amazingly, the boy is so small that when police seized the stolen car, the driver's seat was pushed up to the steering wheel. He was first arrested in June after police say he stole a car. Epic parenting fail. Epic. Most people commute by bus, train, or car but a German man gets to work by plunging into Munich's Isar River. Benjamin David, he was fed up with the stress of commuting on busy city roads, so he now packs his laptop, suit, and shoes into a waterproof bag, straps it to his back, and swims two kilometers to work. Okay, you know, I can understand wanting to avoid city traffic, uh, even taking the river route, but have they not invented canoes yet in Germany? Washington State has a new law against distracted driving. Eating, applying makeup, or playing with your pet while driving will cost you $99. And if they catch you feeding your pet while applying makeup to it, they can legally take your entire car. McDonald's is coming out with their own line of clothing. So good news for those who look fabulous in red and yellow combos. Well, it appears Officer Karma is still on the job. In Pennsylvania, 56-year-old Judith Permar died after she got her arm stuck in a drop-off clothing donation bin she was apparently trying to steal clothes from. Police believe Permar arrived at the clothing drop-off box around 2 a.m. and stood on a step stool to reach her arm inside. She reportedly was pulling bags out of the bin when her stool collapsed and her arm got stuck inside with her feet dangling off the ground. Her body was found around 8.30 a.m. with her black Hummer still running nearby. Her death was ruled accidental from blunt force trauma. She also had a broken arm and wrist and had hypothermia. Well, you know, the Bible does say the wages of sin is death, and one of the big ten is thou shalt not steal, so… A Wisconsin technology company is offering its employees microchip implants that can be used to scan into the building and purchase food at work. 
Whether or not to get a chip is up to the employee to decide. Now, seeing as the number at each microchip begins with 666, I'd probably pass on getting it. Meanwhile, more than 50,000 people globally have radio frequency identification chips or RFID tags inserted under their skin. The tags can provide access to medical information, log on to computers, unlock doors, and also send you directly to hell once the rapture takes place and the Antichrist takes over. It's been shown that New Yorkers bite 10 times more people than sharks do worldwide each year. Hey, new invention idea! Hoodie Shark Cage. Some viewers are ticked off that they tuned into the Discovery Channel to watch Michael Phelps race a great white shark to kick off Shark Week, only to see him race a special effects shark, not a real one. Agreed, that is blatantly false advertising. Plus, what a pansy! Please support my channel by sharing the daily dose of weird news on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, and other social networks. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. You can find even more weird news that I didn't have time for at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!